Hello everyone, this is Mujib from DMind. Today we will talk about a laser assembly. Uh, we also call it optical head, optical component, laser assembly. Uh, in this video, I will talk about DA50 laser assembly. But for DA51, DA52, DA50 width, and DA50 CRP, the process, the troubleshooting, everything is same, just the wall number and some differences. You have to follow the hydraulic diagram. Uh, here you can see the position of the laser assembly. Where is the laser assembly installed and over in the laser? At the top left side, you can see this picture. Top left side, here the laser assembly is installed, right? This is fully covered. Uh, when we remove the laser assembly here, you can see in this picture, this is the inside of the laser assembly, how it looks like. Here you can see this is the glass outer wall and inner wall of flow cell, right? And here there is glue and this is the tube connected. So this is the inside of laser assembly in other parts, right? Uh, this cover you can see uh, on this laser assembly cover, there is one tag which mark with LS value, MS value, and HS value. So it's already uh, set in. The setting is default by, from my, from DMind company. So uh, for laser assembly, we need the safety, how we can increase the laser assembly life because it's expensive, right? And also really sensitive. So let me show you. Safety for laser assembly. Uh, there are uh, many things here and this slide I already explained uh, for safety precaution we have to turn off the analyzer uh, when we do troubleshooting you need to turn off the analyzer first and then we add the anti-static rest <clears throat> uh, how the laser assembly damage which part involved there are many parts which involved uh, not only one uh, sometime you know shock if there is shock number one you can see uh, the cause of shock if there is shock it cause of uh, damage laser assembly can be damaged and uh, laser is uh, laser driver board uh, laser glue static electricity the glue i already show you on the last side slide uh, grounding voltage uh, abnormal switching machine uh, plug in plug out when the instrument is power on so these are the reasons so we have to follow this step then we can prevent the laser assembly uh, and increase the life of laser assembly uh, now we will talk about the results results related problem how we can identify and how we can solve this one uh, this picture you can see this is the normal scattergram for DA50. Uh, in the picture, you can see here we have these are these three WBC, RBC, PLT. These are called histogram. Histogram. And this one as scattergram. Here you can see one, but uh, let me show you. I have a demo software. Let me show you in my demo software. Here, this is D. But if you click on this one, see, I will just click on it. Click. Now you can see here. We have three uh, more scattergram. Uh, three div. How uh, we can call div LS MS. This one is LS MS for div. This one HS MS for div. This one LS HS for div so these three div and this one you can see here beso lsms for beso this one is for beso these are scattergram right and here we have the result let's go to the ppt so how we know the scattergram is good or not how we can check we can check by fresh blood Use fresh blood, uh, then test, and you can see 
the scattergram and the result histogram then we know the scattergram uh, histogram is good or not and uh, we represent how this one you can see uh, the first one small ghost region this one this color we use for small ghost and the second one uh, good aggregation and clear boundary this one you can see everyone the boundary is very clear right uh, here also we can see for ghost and neutrophilus and NFL, their boundary as this is this is the actual the standard position these are their standard position if uh, you have any problem related to scattergram histogram you have to compare you have to compare if for example here the diff uh, scattergram if your scattergram is very expanded or compressed then we have to compare with this one okay my is not according to the standard so then i have to fix it how you can fix by yourself or you have to contact with our corresponding uh, service engineer for your region let's start uh, here you can see uh, sometime the customer they made a mistake uh, in the picture we can see low quality control normal quality control high quality control what he made a mistake here you can see a uh, sample analysis on sample analysis he checked the qc as we know that for qc we have qc analysis interface and for simple we have simple analysis interface so this interface is for simple analysis here as we can see in the picture also let me show you and my demo software yeah i click on sample analysis here we check the sample fresh blood uh, any sample we check here and this interface for qc this option click on qc and here we can see uh, here we have table qc graph qc setting here qc analysis in this interface we check qc so remember don't uh, don't make a mistake for uh, and not be confused for uh, sample analysis interface and qc analysis this qc analysis for to check the qc normal level high level middle level right so we have to check and this interface for sample we use this one go back to ppt So it is not suggested to test control and the sample analysis interface as I explained. So if we face uh, a problem like this, we have to check what we made a mistake. Next. Uh, abnormal scattergram, how we can check uh, Here we can see uh, the WBC classification result are blocked by the machine. As you can see, uh, HSMS and LSMS deep scattergram, baso scattergram are compressed. This one is for baso and HSMS. Here you can see HSMS and LSMS scattergram are compressed so these are compressed uh, in the previous slide i already show you uh, the actual standard position uh, so these are compressed uh, but here you can see the wbc and rbc count are okay right so what's the reason also we have to check the color also here you can see also the color is compressed so we have to clean the inner wall of the flow cell how we can clean the inner wall of flow cell? We have uh, two way for DA15 analyzer from wall 11. Uh, there is one tube you have to connect with the medical syringe manually uh, and using the alcohol or cleanser, then we can clean the inner wall of the flow cell. And the other way, inside the laser assembly, we have to wear anti static wrist gloves remove the cover and then we can do uh, by medical strain uh, let me show you 
So this is the medical syringe. Uh, here we have the alcohol cleanser. Just connect it with connector. Spirate the cleanser. Then here you can see this is a ball 11 for DF50. Back to a ball. Remove the tube carefully. Then connect it with the medical syringe, right? And uh, health, you can see here the quantity of cleanser. Not should be too much here. Just 2 ml is okay. Not too much. Then compress very gently, right? Inject uh, into the flow cell. We can clean the inner wall of the flow cell by this way. The another way. This is the then install back the tube. Another way is the open the remove the screwdriver, open the cover, remove it, the cover from the laser assembly. And you can see uh, we remove. So we have to remove this this tube, right? But this place from this place. This connector we have to remove it. upper side right then connect with medical strength very carefully here you can see the quantity the volume of the cleanser alcohol right then you have to uh, inject push it slowly very gently right this is the another way how to clean the inner wall of flow cell And also, during now uh, posing, you also you can see in the WBC chamber. As you can see, uh, WBC chamber, now you can see here. From the leather assembly, we push, we inject, and uh, now we can see here. So it means it's unblocked and clean. We can do uh, two times. If not clean, also you can see by your eyes. This is for the inner side of the wall, but for out, outer uh, outer side, how we can do? This is the anti dust cloth, non dust cloth, right? Dip in some seventy five percent concentration of alcohol. Then uh, here you can see this is the yeah. Also we are in this article so. This is the uh, flow cell wall outer side. From outer side, you can see we are cleaning. But remember, it should be only top to down, top to down, top to down, right? To clean one side, another side, four sides, right? Only top to down, you can see. Then other side. One by one, right? All to do this. This is how to clean the outer side, outer wall of the flow cell. So now it's clear. Then we can get the good result. Then install back. So this is for the inner wall of flow cell get dirty. The process I uh, already explained for the outer side, uh, and the two ways how to do. Also, you have to check the result also. Let's check next slide, next problem. Here you can see abnormal deep scatter uh, outer wall of flow cell get dirty. When outer uh, wall of flow cell get dirty, then we have the result like this. If you have result like this, uh, LSMS uh, deep scattergram blue, right? You can see it's blue. Profile is okay, but blue. Uh, and the X is opposite of HS. Uh, the base, you can see base is okay. So we have to do to clean the inner wall of the flows and an outer wall. In the last slide, I already explained how to clean it. So this is just to show you um, how to recognize the scattergram. 
So how we can recognize LS uh, MS? This one LS MS, right? It's blue. Uh, HS MS, HS MS, and LS MS. Scatogram. Read the axis which is opposite of the HS. You can see this one. This one opposite of HS. So we have to clean. Because it's not clean, uh, the flow cell is dirty, right? This one. This one. So this is dirty. For the next, here we, uh, you can see HSMS, LSMS, there is nothing. It's empty, blank, right? So there is no scatter group, uh, no scatter gram in the HSMS and LSMS, 2D scatter gram. So we have nothing. It means the laser assembly has damaged. This is the possibility. Mostly, uh, you can try the other reason, the, sorry, the uh, other option, but it's uh, we can know directly the laser assembly is damaged. Then we have to replace a new one because there are many parts involved. We cannot uh, know from there which one is involved. So you have to replace a new one. For this one, um, you can see it's also blue. Problem analysis. How we can analyze each scatter group display is blue cloud, right? Blue cloud. Uh, amplitude of the a little compressed, right? Also compressed. If you compare with the standard one, so it uh, compressed, right? So what are the possibility? The possibility is the gain setting need to be increased by 20 to 35 percent. This is the first you have to check but don't increase too much first 20 percent then check the result if not then increase a little bit more 25 or 30 then 35 right so step by step uh, the second one flow cell of the laser get dirty and need to be clean as i explained outer side and inside you can clean but how to adjust the laser uh, ls ms uh, ms gain value let me show you from the demo software setting and then you can see here setup and then here we have gain setting and gain setting uh, for deep we have three this is for ls this one is for ms and this one is for hs right so we need to s ms right uh, you can adjust from here and then after when you increase or decrease according to your scattergram then you have to apply and then OK. So this is the how to adjust the gain value. Then by this way we can solve this problem. For the next one, uh, you can see here dot, too many blue dots, right? We mentioned here with the red color you can see. So there are too many dots on the scattergram, right? So what are the possibility? Maybe the ambient temperature is less than 100 degree. Then if it's uh, less than 100 degrees, so it's too cold, right? So that's why it will not react with the blood cell properly, right? If uh, ambient temperature is okay, your room temperature is 15 to 30 degrees centigrade, right? Then maybe the reagent preheating chamber preheating chamber get damaged and then it cannot preheat the lysis right so it's not preheated that's why no problem so you have to check the preheating chamber if it's working or not so these are the possibilities to solve this problem so if you face problem like this then you have to apply this way this is the, the process is the same for df uh, 51 52 uh, 50 crp so set scattergram efforts like this then you have to apply this uh, solution 
but this case uh, you can see the WBC uh, result or block and stress uh, three deep scattergram or uh, you know it's not clean messy right pouring like pouring uh, the base you can see base is okay uh, RBC RBC is also okay so what are the solution the solution is the check if the lies two bottle NF or uh, there is bubble so you have to check physically by your eyes if it is enough, then you have to replace new one. Maybe if there is bubble, then you have to do priming to remove the bubble inside the tube. Uh, other reason, maybe the lice 2 syringe, you have to check inside the syringe assembly. Uh, maybe uh, the O-ring has got damaged, then you have to replace a new one. Or uh, maybe there are a lot of powder attached on the piston. Replace the uh, O-ring or lice 2 syringe you have to replace it you have to check first if you face a problem like this like this picture this catagram then you have to apply uh, this solution and you can solve the problem for abnormal deep scatogram uh, here you can see the wbc is zero right there is nothing uh, WBC classification result are blocked by asterisk, like the result is also blocked. And the base of scatogram and WBC scatogram are blank. The scatogram you can see here. Uh, sorry, the scatogram here. Beso, it's empty, there is nothing. RBC count is okay. RBC is okay. So, what are the solution? Maybe wall 17, the waste discharge. Maybe this is not working. Uh, you have to replace this wall, wall 16, wall 17, sorry. And then check if the result is not okay, then you have to uh, replace the pinch wall, wall 12. Wall 12 is pinch wall. I will show you in the last slide the wall, their position. So you have to replace wall 12 and then check if the problem still exists, then you have to uh, replace the wall 10 also wall 11 for uh, flow service HR. so then you can f fix the problem if it's like this so for this is for da50 the hydraulic diagram here you can see this is the wall 17 uh, this is wall 12 pinch wall and this is wall 10 uh, this is the flow cell and this is the joint T29 J13 right this joint uh, when we clean the inner wall we connect the thread here uh, also here this one this is the first mill from wall 11 we connect with medical thread then push to clean the inner wall also another way to remove the core from laser assembly and then connect here with this joint and then we push the liquid to clean the inner wall so these parts are involved wall 17 wall 12 wall 10 uh, this is laser assembly uh, connector wall 11 so whenever you face a problem related to laser assembly you have to check these parts to solve the problem here you can see wall 10 this is a small three-way wall uh, the function of this wall to push the blood sample into flow chamber push the wind to clean the probe uh, and wall 11 is big to a wall to discharge the waste from flow chamber right so this is for waste discharge the wall tail is a pinch wall to aspirate the blood sample from wbc bath and then stop the blood sample back flow so this is the pinch wall wall 12 and wall 17 is a small two-way wall to discharge the waste so you have to check uh, this part when you face the problem related to laser assembly for da 50 analyzer but for other analyzer the wall are changed because the hydraulic diagram is changed let me show you here for example this one this is d50 crp for d50 crp uh, this one this is the laser assembly so, so you can see here and these are the wall here you can see the 
pinch wall is wall 19 and this is the wall 15 and here wall 20 so you have to check these walls the process is same right this is the joint to remove this and you, you by medical syringe you can clean this manually uh, this uh, wall you can see this is three way wall one connection second connection third connection right so wall 15 and this is the wall 19 you can see this is two way wall uh, wall 20 as two way also two way wall so this is the solution for laser assembly result related problem how to face uh, scatogram histogram also if you have any other problem or you cannot fix the problem or you don't understand then you have to check with our corresponding engineer service engineer with your for your region thank you for watching the video